with me the rest of you got the great hall <laughs> with me I gift this battle to myself I'm scum! Welcome to your doom! <laughs> uh. 
Warriors with me! The rest of you guard the Great Hall! With me! I gift this battle to myself! Ein Herrier! Bring the heavy your blades! We will drown our enemies in blood! For Asgard! Uh, kill the Asil! Burn the whole oh, Say hello Whoa. to Jormungandr! Let's slow this imp down! Uh. 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 Cut them down! Uh. 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 What's my lead? Here, shit sack. What's that? You've done us no favors either, Jotun. Wait, no. <laughs> You're mistaken. I am no Jotun. I was only passing through from one land to another. Would your song be the same if the Jotna had won this? Uh, uh. Harvey. I found this one lurking in the shade, shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy child sheep herder. What is your name, stranger? I am called the Builder by most. He wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been building things. Do you come from Jotunheim? I do. Or I did. That is to say, I passed through, but I am not of that place, which pleases me well, for I hated it. Had you any dealings there? As a builder, yes, for a time. But they took a dislike to my methods, which are, shall I say, magical in nature. Harvey, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse? Or a secret curse? Neither, Hywan. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal, 
has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Jotnar can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? Quite a coincidence that you came when you did, at the tail end of a brutal attack. That I came when I did was by design. I have been among your enemies for so long, I know how they hunger for your demise. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Urthu. What do you know of our sacred well? It's a place of great power and vital magic, a source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt. I will go to the well. You must find this builder clearing for his display. No, no, it's no trouble, Avi. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. An interesting offer. A curious coincidence. Eivor, awake so soon? Yes, the fog cleared suddenly. I can speak of what I've seen, but I felt pulled away. Say nothing of it now. Return to this another time. I will, when I'm ready. Eva Wolf kissed, is that you? Do I know you? You were too young to remember me, but I stayed with your household many years ago. This is for you. The Meadhorn of Sutunga? How is this possible? Can you conjure things from dreams? Pesh, it's only a model. 
I fashioned it from a story told to me by your father, but since he's dead, I offer it to you. It is exactly like I saw it in my head, as Varin described it to me. Have you made other things from stories? Only if the storyteller is very good. Your father was. He would have made a good scald. Could you do it from dreams or visions? Bring something into this world from another? Not all dreamers speak, and fewer yet speak clearly. Seers talk too much and cloud your vision with... What's this about bringing things into this world from another? Mm, more like uh, imagining it into our world. When I have the image, its design speaks to me in a language I do not know, and yet understand. This is Sutunger's meat horn, Volker, from Jotunheim. Zvarin described it to him. I do not like this business of trafficking in visions. But if it revives good memories of your father, there may be value in it. I will bring you a potion that will let Eivor dream and speak clearly. If you take advantage, your death will be painful. Nah, you need not go to so much trouble. You could give me the recipe. I will bring you a potion. Do not dig too deeply. We do not know the true cost of this. There will be no cost to the gods. You heard him. He does not take things from their realms. He imagines them, then crafts them. Not the cost to the gods. To you. I will get the workshop ready. Come by when you want to get started. You'll be safe in my care. Valka has promised that any harm you suffer will be visited upon me tenfold. She is protective of her people. But I must exact a promise from you. You must not speak of this to anyone. Whatever happens. I swear upon my life, I will not speak of this to any but you.
you're near the Raven, my memory is sharp, my aim unmuddled. But down there in Niflheim, things are less clear. You know I cannot take you. I can barely get myself through the warding wall, and only then by abandoning my trusted weapons. Do not sulk. I will not risk you. For who then would remind me of my purpose? Yes, Balder, my son. The light of the world locked away in Hell's dark castle. He was taken too soon, stolen from us. I shall not rest till I have denied destiny and brought Balda back from the dead. You're right, Moonin. If it is to be done, best it were done quickly. It is time to go to hell. Niflheim's riches are doubly defended. I must kill the guards before disarming the shield. The shield surrounding this prize must have been tied to its defender's life or death.
No going back now. Little coward, aren't you? Your pain, my pleasure. What's going on? Never a moment's peace.
the air appears to shimmer here, much in the way it does when the Jotun weave their illusions. Looks like a warrior of rank. Perhaps he carries some prize on his person. That was a chilling end. I am just warming up. Sented hurtling back to the void if I have to. I do not think they can hear you, old man. <sighs> have you come to lend us aid, my son? I have news from home. War rattles the gates of Asgard while you dally in this dream of rescuing Baldur. My whole life I've defied expectations by doing the unthinkable. How could I do any less when your brother's life is at stake? My stepbrother is dead. There is no life at stake. You are full of advice to all who will listen, but deaf to anyone else. Can you name anyone with more wisdom than I? Who has fought and fallen and sacrificed more than I have? No. And I hope you will understand, son, why I do not take counsel easily. So, you're going back. Back to Niflheim. 
As many times as it takes. Enjoy the fight, father! What's my lead?
are different here. strength. Ah! <gasps> 
Hope you taste good. Go on. side.
Hospitality without a host. Are these drinks for the dead, or might anyone partake? That note may shed some light. Which one shall I choose? Spile, it burns my throat. Only one drink per visit. Generosity has its limits. Why go to some other shop when my shop will come to you? <laughs> you carry your whole shop with you. That is quite a feat. <laughs> Anything can be negotiated, if you have the means, even this difficult land. Would you like to see what I have? Let us get down to business, then. I make a monument of your bones. I granted you this realm, child, but I will unmake it if you deny me Balder. You gave me a barren world, filled with the dishonored and other undesirables. I gave them purpose. What purpose? An afterlife of constant death? No, a new kind of life, one free from the fear of death. All who serve me shall have their rebirth. Oh. Ugh. <sighs> 